So I'm very glad to welcome you to this conference in honor of Pierre Shakira, uh, a young man, still a young man, for two reasons, I guess, because one of them is that all of you know him, knows that he kept a very uh, young spirit in mind. And uh, second, it's, uh, well, because he's not 75 yet. <laughs> But you're going to be at the end of this month, in two weeks' time. I will pass the mic to uh, Masaki Kashiwama. He will say a few words on Pierre's uh, work and life and probably collaboration. Thank you. Yeah, OK. So it is my great pleasure to speak here in the occasion of uh, Pierre's 75th birthday. And uh, I'm going to speak uh, about uh, some history, or not history, but uh, I think related with Shakira and uh, perhaps myself. And uh, so that I choose the title Algebraic Analysis and Pierre Shakira. So, <coughs> so Algebraic Analysis is started by, by Michio Sato. I think we can say it's in 60, because Sato gave a colloquium talk at the University of Tokyo, and there he showed the importance of D modules and also hyperfunctions and so on. And so Pierre Shakira took the theory of hyperfunction, and and he published the. Uh, lecture notes in mathematics to the function. I think uh, that is based on your course at, on the course of Pierre Shapira at, uh, in Brazil, I think. And so, so that contains all the accounts before the microlocal analysis. So microlocal analysis is started also by Sato. So I think we can say 96. 69, and uh, so he gave the, the, the ICM talk at 70. And so we know that uh, the, the work of Shapira, so Sato invited to Japan the, to the conference of Katata in 71. I think he, Shapira was influenced by André Martineau and uh, so for Sato and Mai and uh, Kawai are uh, invited to Nice University where uh, Martineau was there but unfortunately he uh, passed away just before we arrived there. Anyway, so, so that is the book, or the lecture note, and he gave with Yami uh, Boni, he contributed to the article, and uh, so, so that is, uh, I think, uh, the beginning of micro-local analysis. <coughs> okay, and uh, my collaboration with uh, Shapira, I think that it, Micro hyperbolic system is the first, more or less the first one. I think uh, so. I think because I picked it up because that is the beginning of micro local theory of shape. And uh, so, so there we made some precise, uh, precise theory concerning the micro uh, hyperbolic equation based on cauchy kowalski theory. So, so you have the homework solution, then how much you, you can extend it. So I think that is the, the one of the big motivation of Pierre Shapira. And he noticed that the similar theory should exist at sheets. And uh, so, it, in fact, it, I remember very well that uh, he explained that there should be such a theory 
uh, at his home, and I could not uh, persuade it at once. And it, it takes some time to, to digest that I, 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 I was certain that such theory exists. Anyway, after that, we started the collaboration on the safe theory. And so that was uh, in, in Shields on Manifold, uh, the Spring as a publication. And so I think the Michael Locke's uh, theory of Shields is, I think that is a very beautiful theory, and the contribution of Shabi Hai is uh, tremendous. So, why I'm not convinced at once? So, there are several things, but, but of course, the theory of hyperfunction or microfunction is based on the theory of on the shift of homomorphic functions, and you make some operations, something like the relative cohomology or, or vanishing cycle functor, and then you can get micro function or the shift of micro function and so on. So it's not so clear that it, the shift itself has some, some micro local nature. And so the definition is here, so you take the point in the cotangent bundle, and then that at F is, does not belong, P does not belong to the micro support of F if it satisfies two conditions, it equivalent two conditions. Why is this one? So it means. So you have some point here, and you have the, so that is P, so that is the co-direction. And so the theory says, you, the first condition is you take very near this one, and this direction is very near. And then the cohomology, the relative cohomology finds it here. So that is very point-wise condition. And the other condition is different. It's equivalent, but if you take the local coordinate, and so that is P, and you fix this one, and then, so if that is, this cone is flat enough, then any section extends to this direction. <clears throat> so, so that, or the, the cohomology that. So that is a, it's a rather semi-global condition. And it's not easy to see that they are equivalent. And uh, so that is a technical reason. And I think the, uh, in those days I have some, uh, I can't convince or persuade it at once. Anyway, so that is the beginning of the micro. So, for example, the, the, our result on micro hyperbolic system can be uh, just you consider the solution and uh, you consider the micro support, then it's the characteristic right. So, we can say that explains all the uh, world together with the theory of micro support. Okay, so, <coughs> so the contribution of Shapira, there is another big one. So that is a theory of elliptic pairs. So that was joint work was, uh, with Schutz uh, And so, so he considered, or they considered the pair of a uh, D module and a uh, constructive chief. Then, so you consider R from F or X, and you consider solution with this value. Then, that is, in fact, under some condition, under some proper condition, this one has, so solution has finite dimensional, and its order characteristic can be 
Ja, ik zei het niet. Voor de theta op m en de theta op f. So, this one, a from f of x, we can say that is a space of functions, depending on the theta f. So, for example, f is a constant sheaf on a real form of x, then this is a space of hyperfunctions on n. If f is c omega and with omega open, then that is nothing but a space of holomorphic functions defined on omega. So, we can consider this is a kind of function space chosen by f, and the solution can be uh, calculated by the, by the data of, topological data of m and f. And they proved it also its relative version. I think it, I will not explain here. So, but the similar thing, so you have a morphism f from x to y, and you have the module and our constant shift upstairs x, then you consider m tensor f, consider as t module, and you consider the direct image as t module. And we assume some, some conditions, relatively epic pair, then this one has coherent commodities. And you can calculate the, for example, the characteristic variety or the, uh, the cycles starting from M and F. <coughs> so that is a very beautiful theory and developed by Sabio. <coughs> and other one is so I think both of them, are, I think it, 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 the first idea was by Pierre Chapia, and uh, uh, perhaps, the, perhaps for the, this one is a little bit different, but anyway, so, so with moderate and formal commodity associated with constant receives and the indices. So that is, in fact, uh, so I proved the Riemann Hilbert correspondence for regular holonomic D modules. And uh, so the problem was to, to extend that theory to irregular case. And the Chapier's idea is to use the, those kind of formal and moderate cohomology and indices. R from F O X for R constant received, that is a, a space of functions, more or less. And we can consider it temporary version. So for example, F is a constant shift on the real manifold, then R from F O X is a space of function, and T home is a space of C infinity function. And so on. And so I introduced this notion, and the idea of Shapira is we consider there's a category of sheaves, we consider the category of in the object of sheaves, then there is OXT in the category of in the sheaves, and this factor is, can be written in a very simple form. So, so we included all of them in the category of indices. I introduced T home F O X, but it, it was in a somewhat ad hoc way. So that was also very big one. And uh, Shakya gave many other ones that, uh, for example, shift quantization of Hamiltonian isotopies and applications to non the problems. So that is related with uh, symplectic geometry and uh, other ones and the deformation quantization modules. And there are other two <coughs> very different theory. Well, they are somewhat based on algebraic analysis, but he wanted to apply to other things, to other fields. 
and one is tomography of conserved functions. So he wants to apply them somewhat to tomography or persistent tomography. So, so he was very a creative mathematician with a very <coughs> brilliant idea. And uh, I think uh, I was very happy that, uh, to, to, to work with him and, uh, and, uh, <coughs> and that is a, a, it was a good time to do that. And I think uh, so he is still very, very active and I think uh, with uh, this workshop he can get some energy again and I hope that he will start again to the new theory. Okay, thank you very much.